Hi guys. I just wanted to pop back on for a quick little moment and finish one question that I was answering when I um, so rudely was cut off <laughs> and um, also follow up on a question I had about the tarot. So hopefully, hi, I was just going to finish your question. I'm glad you popped back in. I'm not going to take any new questions. I'm just going to finish um, two thoughts from before. So your question about you're being surrounded by water or you're being flooded and you survive. So water represents the unconscious. Water represents the deep unconscious of our souls or the dark parts of ourselves swimming around in, in our unconscious, swimming around in the backs of our minds. It all also represents um, feminine wisdom and feminine knowledge as related to higher consciousness or as related to goddess energy, as related to the divine feminine. It also represents um, intuition or psychic abilities, aka that place that we are able to go to inside of ourselves, inside of the um, recesses of our minds where we can connect to that higher intelligence or those messages. So being in, um, being submerged in water and being safe would indicate that you may be going through a kind of awakening process where you are able to tap into those energies, tap into those things either within yourself and or within the universe, within spirit. It may represent a kind of um, awakening or a kind of deepening of yourself as well as being very literal in, in the fact that it's telling you um, messages are available to you. You're surrounded by this. You're surrounded by this energy. You're surrounded by your subconscious and these messages, these things are available to you. You are safe. All you have to do is look. I'm not, I'm sorry, I already did an hour long video and I just popped on to finish a couple of things and I'm not taking any more questions right now. Um, Kathleen, I did also want to say, you know, maybe to review what I said about dreams in my past video because, uh, meaning the one I just finished, because it is very, very personal to you. Spirit or the universe does very, very much speak to you in your own language and it's important that you decipher what those symbols mean for you and it's important that you pay attention to how you felt in the dream and what those feelings mean to you, etc. Talked a bit about that before. The last one was saved. It'll be posted. I don't really, um, thank you for your understanding, Manisha. I don't really, um, analyze dreams for people, but what I can do is help people analyze their dreams. And I do offer a guidance session for that. So I also had a question earlier that I wanted to follow up on, follow up on, and it was about the tarot. It was about, um, learning the tarot and how to, how to read them when they're together as opposed to when they're alone. And some of the advice I gave for that was it's really heavily based on your intuition and to also make sure that you're looking at the cards as if they are telling a story. Um, it's not just black and white about the book def definition of them. It's about the story that they're telling and that story t changes when they are together. So it's really, it's not that easy to explain in words. I would definitely be able to teach it, but it's not that easy to just summarize and explain um, briefly in words over a video. So what I was gonna do is pull some cards as an example to kind of show you what I'm thinking about. So for instance, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups can very much represent youthful energy. It can very much represent fertility. It's very much about having fun, having a joyous time, celebrating with friends, having friends that you are in harmony with, and being able to enjoy your bounty of friendship, enjoy your bounty of fun, enjoy your bounty of joy. Let's see how that could change when it is with another card. So I just pulled the death card, which is very much about transition and or leaving things behind, just to very quickly summarize. So if you put the death card with the three of cups, then you can see that you may have the guidance to leave a friendship behind. 
or to leave behind too much partying or to leave behind too much carefree fun time. Maybe it's time to be more responsible, something of that nature. Um, let's see if I can have some other examples here. The lovers is very much about making choices. Sometimes that's a choice in relationships. Sometimes it's another kind of choice. Sometimes it's about integrating the different facets of ourselves within ourselves or integrating the different um, dichotomies in our outward life with each other. It's about making a choice to find balance. When you put the lovers card, with the three of cups, then perhaps you need to make a choice about friendships or make a choice uh, about whether or not the way that you're spending time with your friends is good for you or make a choice about um, spending time with them in a more conscientious way. Maybe not so much drinking, not so much partying, not so much fun, fun playtime. Maybe it's time to get different with your relationships, get deeper with your relationships. I will find a couple more examples and then I'm going to get off of here and I don't want to give it too much attention but I don't I don't appreciate the sexual harassment or whatever is going on there um okay let's see the two of cups is very much about a partnership it can be about a relationship such as a romantic relationship it doesn't have to be it can be about a partnership at work or a good friend somebody that you work really well together with maybe you're working on a project with them something of that nature it really depends on the card that is surrounding it it's not just cut and dry so for instance if the two of cups was surrounded by a bunch of pentacles cards, then it would probably be about somebody that you're in a work relationship with, someone you're in a partnership, a work partnership with, somebody that you're on a team with at work, someone you need to team up with at work, something of that nature. Now, if it were if the whole reading was about love and the two of cups came up and then the devil card came up with the two of cups, then it would indicate that there's something about this relationship that has an emotional bondage or blockage or that there's something about the relationship that is really more of a kind of um, addiction that is more of a, a habit or that one of the people have an addiction or that it's time for you to really think about the way the the blockages within your own thinking and within your emotions that are holding you back from really experiencing this relationship the way that you could be or should be so those are some examples of um, how the meanings of the tarot cards change when they are in conjunction with each other and again this is just a, a kind of follow-up to the prior video which I just did which was an hour long and which will be posted soon and now I'm going to take off for the day but once again I do want to say thank you so much to all who have joined I really appreciate chatting with you I really appreciate all of your interesting questions and I really love doing these live spirit chats so I hope to see you again next Sunday at 3 p.m central standard time thanks so much have a good evening